thy dwelling place in all generations. For the mountains were brought forth, and thou hast placed the earth in the world.
shall be the rules of life by which we live. He who has lived the manly life is well prepared to face death. To be manly is to live a life of high principle, to have a goal, to be courageous in the attaining of that goal, to steadfast adherence to so noble a concept, difficult though it may be, must of necessity be of inestimable value in the development of sterling characters. To be a man may well mean to be a martyr to a cause. But the end of the martyrdom is that one has lived, not as a crazy coward, but as those glorious men who have left behind to mankind a record written in the blood of sacrifice, a record to be read by many who will come after. If we have lived as men, cannot be but that we will die as men. When die, we must. To be his brother's keeper should be the aim of every man. Unselfish living is a rare and precious gem to be sought by all mankind. Not what we have, but what we give is a worthy standard for men who will uplift the race of men. We must reach down and lift our fellow men so that they too will stand as men of pride and character for all the world to see. This is the life that Megan demands of all her sons. Brothers, let us not merely wipe away the tears that falls for him. Let us here resolve with God's grace that we shall continue to hold aloft the banner of Omega as nobly as he our departed brother. In so doing, we may be assured that the life we now memorialize will serve as a beacon to guide some other person into the life which is circumscribed by Omega's cardinal principle, manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. Let us pray. Thou, O God, knowest thou down sitting in our uprising and understandest our thoughts afar off. Shield and defend us from all evil thoughts and intentions. Support us under the trials and afflictions we are destined to endure while traveling through this veil of tears. Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and withers. He flees like a shadow and continues not. Since his days are determined, the number of his months is with thee, and thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Look away from him and desist that he may enjoy like a hireling his days. For there is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again in that. Whereas we, the officers and members of the joint local boards of the National Association, of real estate brokers, the New Jersey Association of Minority Professionals, the South Jersey Board of Realtors, the Bedford Stuyvesant Real Estate Board, the Greater Harlem Real Estate Board, the Queens Board of Realtors, and the Greater Hudson Valley Board of Real Estate Professionals bow our heads in humble submission to the extent, extinguishment of the life of Edwin Devon, beloved husband of Mark, yet fellow real Clara Lyons Devon. Whereas God's holy word, the Bible, instructs us in Revelations 2.10, states, Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. We rejoice in the knowledge that Edwin Devon a soldier of the Most High God who answered his Maker's call and departed this life, crossing the threshold of the everlasting doors of immortality and fought the good fight, received her promotion and new orders to change her occupation. Be it resolved that we, the joint local boards of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, expresses its sincere condolences to the family of Clara Lyons Devon. We have 
a uh, resolution from Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, New New Chapter, uh, Carlos J. Hernan, Henry Quest, New New Chapter, Paso. <coughs> Also from Forest Hill School, Camden, New Jersey, Gail Witherspoon, Principal. This resolution is for the Devon family from the 5500 block of Larchwood Avenue Block Club. Are they available? We, the members of the 5500 block of Largewood Avenue Block Club, neighbors and friends, extend our condolences to the Devon family on the home going of your loved one, Mr. Edward, Edwin Devon. Those who grew up with him, as well as those who loved him, have shared fond memories and stories of Edwin's great personality. We hope that these fond memories will keep close to your heart, and that God will provide the comfort you need to see you through the days of heaven. It is our prayer that God bless, guide, and always keep you in his loving care. Please don't hesitate to call on us if we can be of assistance to you. Also, be it resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy be retained in the block club files. 5500 block of Larchwood Avenue Block Club, Lawrence Mays, Block Captain. <coughs> From the 18th District Community Town Watch, a letter of condolence to Mr. and Mrs. John, John Vaughn and family, and it's signed by Greg Spearman, Chairperson. From Hampton High School, we have a resolution, James Thompson, principal. From the city of Philadelphia, office of the mayor, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Devon, I am writing to offer my deepest condolences on the recent loss of your son, Ed. Devoted to you and your beautiful family, he led an extraordinary life. His dedication to his family and friends serves as an inspiration for all. I had the great pleasure to grow up with Edwin, and I have always treasured his friendship. He was my best friend on Larchwood Avenue, and I will never forget all of the incredible times we had and the memories we shared. I know there is little I can say to ease the sorrow you are experiencing, but please know I do understand how it feels to lose someone so dear to the heart. I hope it comforts you to know that Edwin was deeply respected and loved by all those he met. As you pay your final respects, honor his life by recalling all of the wonderful moments you shared over the years and be grateful for the lasting memories he has given to you. It is my hope that you may draw strength from your recollections and allow them to comfort and guide you forward. May you please know you and your family are in my thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. I will miss Edwin dearly. Sincerely, Michael A. Nutter. Mayor, City of Philadelphia. Good morning. Good morning. First, give me honors to God. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Jacob L. Chapman, 
ministerial staff, and all of the offices and members of the Timothy Moore Baptist Church, we want to extend to the Ravon family our deepest sympathy and condolences. We want you to know that as church family, that we're here for you, and that whatever we can do to be of uh, some help, some comfort during the hours of the reading, that all you need to do is just call upon us. Although your loved one has transitioned, be mindful of the fact that He's still here with you right now. The story is told of two men. One name, life, and the other, death. Life kept a box filled with all kinds of precious memories and treasures. But one day, one day, Life went away and left his box behind. And when he returned, he found that the box was gone. He turned and asked the farmer if death had taken his box away. The father responded, yes, death came. And death took your box away. But just before he took your box, I reached in and I pulled out all of your treasures, all of your precious memories, and I have them here with me. Today, you have those precious memories of your life, and they will be with you, even to the end of the world. So just hold on. We can endure for the night. But you have come. Thank you. 
athletes and friends. I remember when we all pretty much got old enough to play in the street. Football, King Block, Tops, Marbles, Half Ball. We played it all, morning, noon, and night. At least until the street light came on. Because we all knew that when the street light came on, it was time for us to get on the steps.
in, 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 in making ways and opening up people or seas of people to get it. And we landed on the law. That's ever before. <laughs> Claire, Aaliyah, Mr. John, Ms. Martha, Jerry, Jeffrey, Pam, yes, this is painful. And I'm sure it's not going to wear off soon. However, know this. We share these great moments together. And I want to thank Jamal Dickerson and Hassan for coordinating things on the Canada side while I was away. Um, here, and right now, we're going to have a population. Oh, before I do the population by Hassan, I would like to have everyone from the Camden City School District and Camden City at large, please rise. Building the economies, 
responsible for funding our community, maintaining wellness of being in our bodies, providing human services, establishing nurturing relationships, altering the conversation of who we are in the media, empowering our youth. We declare that our community manifests itself in the world as a contribution in the transformation of the universe. Atlantic, Georgia, October 7, 1991. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2012. A moment of silence, please. Yeah. 
We thank for God for this preaching. Amen. Uh, he, he didn't finish today. He's going to finish second Sunday morning by whole time. We thank God for all he's done for the celebration today. We thank God for this family. We pray much for you. As we prepare now to leave this place, we ask that you leave the sanctuary as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. Because they'll have to transform this place into a dining hall. And they need you to leave quickly. <laughs> I also ask that because of the latest of the hour, because of the latest of the hour, that you will go straight to your cars. There's a time to begin, please. There'll be time to fellowship when we get back in. And if you hold them up getting there, it's going to be difficult for them to get back here on time. So won't you please help them to their confidence? I said that to somebody last week.